I've sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, it's Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Got a good, another good request on a review of a ship uh, that I have not played much with, the Hayate review. It's uh, basically TLDR, Ashima plus Haragumo. This is what you get, the baby of that monstrosity. Before getting like, subscribe, bell button below. Appreciate all the supporters of the channel, helping us build a great community, making this a better place to play, meet good people, have good discussions, and learn something at the same time. So let's get to it. Uh, the Hayate... Um, how do what I rank this? Uh, it ranks high in the tier from like tier 10 only from 1 to 26 of the tier 10 destroyers that I have access to. Uh, it ranks in the top 10. So very, very good in that aspect in the sense of it can do, I think, a little bit more versatile things than a Shima uh, would be able to do. Now, a lot of you guys out there that are Shima players, um, this... The only downside with this is that you don't have that third rack of torpedoes, and the torpedoes don't go out to if you do want to play for 20 kilometers, but it does have the torpedoes that go out to 12. So you still got the aspects of some kind of Japanese torpedo boat destroyer feel. But then we also add the aspects of the guns. The guns are now performing a little bit better. I mean, the same type of caliber guns, you know, 915 meters per second coming out of the barrels, as you can see right here. Decent arc angles, and they do start fires, and they, you know, do uh, enough chip damage that you can, you know, do something with them, rather than Ashima's, really, I, I always look at Ashima's guns as last resort. Uh, but your primary... I would say defensive is your offense is really the concealment and running around as a Shima player with torpedoing and scouting and spotting and so forth and pop and smoke, right? Hayate brings a little bit more flavor to that action by giving it not only the engine boost, but also that torpedo reload booster, better firing guns, better turret angles, and you still can hit torpedoes as you can see right here. And boom, we take out our first kill on the Wooster, a lucky torpedo right there. And uh, you still get that aspect of firepower with guns, torpedoes, a mixture of everything. Uh, the concealment is not as great as a Shima player. You know, you could definitely get the Shima down to 5.6-ish, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, unfortunately, you can only get to 6.1, which is not bad. You know, I think the best concealment for a destroyer player is 6, which is why I like Daring. Daring is like right at 6, and, you know, even uh, Vampires at 5.8. I mean, that kind of range, 5.8 to 6, is bearable. It's doable to handle everything that you're going to deal with out there as a destroyer player if you're attacking the destroyers or just trying to go out and torp and be a, 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 a torpedo machine. But the thing I like about Hayate is the fact that it brings in the aspect of the gunboat gameplay of the Haragumo style to the Shima gameplay. So you kind of mix, mix and matching those boats. And you can build for either or. You could go long-range gunboat and not have to deal with torpedoes. Or you can just go full-up torpedo build. Although you can't get the torpedoes down to, you know, I would say, Kleber reload styles, as you saw in my previous videos. But it's still there. You know, you can still do decent damage with the Hayate. It's more of kind of this passive-aggressive gameplay where... You are pushing the limit, pushing up to the front of towards the enemy, but you're not really doing too much torpedo damage because of that long reload. And I know you got that reload booster, but really I saved the reload booster for follow-on shots where I send the first rack of torpedoes out there just to get the guy moving and changing uh, vectors and changing position, letting him know here I'm a presence, but I'm also getting that reload booster for follow-up shots. And that's what you can see. Now I've got RPF on this. Definitely I, I'm starting to like this RPF, especially even for the torpedo gun um, torpedo roll because you do want to have situational awareness of what is in front of you and what's the closest threat because you don't want to get all of a sudden, you know, as a torpedo player, you're out and you're behind enemy lines. You're literally going out there trying to risk your concealment in ship just to get that nice, sweet torpedo shot. But you also need to know there are other torpedoes and submarines lurking in the area. So you do have to maintain somewhat of a, a, uh, a situational awareness to understand how to react to that and also to play or be prepared to react to that uh, accordingly, right? So you can see right here the gun, a little bit of gun action right here. That yeah, they can go out there and reach somebody. And unfortunately, it's still like again not the greatest reload. I mean, you're you're seeing I'm getting about three second reload normally compared to maybe a longer reload of the Shima. Not Haragumo style levels of reload, so that's why I do prefer Haragumo a little bit better because you can throttle juke, you can shoot a massive amount of salvos with Haragumo. Unfortunately, with Hayate, it is cut kind of in half. And uh, obviously, Haragumo still ranks up there. If I had to put, put him up there, yeah, Haragumo still ranking top four in HEDPM uh, with compared to Marceau, Small, and Vampire. Number four is Haragumo. Hayate is number, uh, number 10. So really, uh, I still prefer Haragumo because you still have the Haragumo. still has, even though it has less torpedoes, you can still have the six, six torpedo uh, tu tubes launched by Haragumo and have a reload booster with uh, the Haragumo. Not and not sacrifice gunpowder and Haragumo's concealment is I think the lowest I get is 6.2, Hayate 6.1. So 
what would I, you know, give up that point one kilometer for faster firing guns? Yeah, I, I would prefer the Harugum, honestly, better. Hayate is still a great ship. I think a lot of people can do a great deal of damage with this thing. It's just, um, you know, for what I'm trying to do with the Harugum on my play style is really putting a lot of shells down range, getting the enemy to shoot at you, distraction, be a threat. Uh, with Hayate and Shima, I don't look as a major, major threat. Shima is more of that, you know, stealth gameplay, more passive role, just start torping things, spotting things for your enemy player. You're kind of like that, you know, force recon going out, the, going out in the distance and really just taking the fight to the enemy and helping your team spot. Like right now, this situation right here, my Sherman can't see anything. So right here, a good Japanese destroyer player would be going out there in front of the smoke, as you can see I'm doing right here, just to spot the enemy for my team. And also with that extra concealment, I can get a little bit in... Uh, a little bit closer and even provide that torpedo threat uh, so that you know the Sherman can basically farm with ease and with comfort and with no no issues and I can even go ahead of the Sherman and even scout ahead for incoming torpedoes because of course if I'm in front I can spot the torpedoes early giving the Sherman a little bit more heads up uh, gameplay like that as you can see my RPF is indicating that the only closest target right now is the Wujing so therefore I have no threat of pushing into this direction and launching torpedoes or whatever I need to do to help my Sherman out and uh, like I said this the torpedo reload is really really long I, I just yeah I wish it would be better uh, I mean if you're gonna give up guns or maybe give up a torpedo rack give me at least a little bit better reload but I built it for the best reload kid build is at the end of the screen so you can see how I built this so, uh, based on recommendations from the computer and of wargaming of what they think this should be built for and uh, it, again it's really a hybrid it, it's, it's a mixture of both so you could build in either or direction whichever you like uh for me i kind of like the mixture of both the guns are three second reloads decent i can deal with that and the torpedo look 224 after i shot that the, this salvo right here a uh, 200 two minute 20 reload time is pretty long pretty horrendous uh you can i mean i wish it just was better maybe you get at least holland reloads you know 90 seconds at least give me something like that but you know i digress these torpedoes, uh, they're standard uh, Type 12 Mod 3 ones where you can still spot these things. You get about six, seven sec six to seven second uh, reaction time. And if you build for them, they can go a little bit faster. And uh, yeah, he is unable to dodge those. And we take that second kill splash too. And they do a decent amount of damage. I mean, the torpedoes do hit heavy. I mean, they are still the Japanese style torpedoes. So um, let me take a look what the torpedo damage is. Yeah, they provide about what? Uh... Damage is about 23,767. So that's just just that bare bones alone. No torpedo reduction damage. 23,000 is a lot to uh, take on. So, man, if a destroyer hits one, boom, you are gone. Uh, but right now, look at the guns. Really uh, trolly. I was trying to help my Sherman out. Unfortunately, he gets taken out by, ironically, a Shima player. But the Sherman was already low health anyway, so I don't, I'll give him that. So right now, just, uh, I mean, th this is pretty much the gameplay with the Hayate, I find. You know, although I'm doing a lot of so-called, you know, damage or offensive capability, it's just really, really slow gameplay and, you know, very passive, very cautious. Um, because I don't want to go head-on, one-on-one with another store. Notice my health pool is at 24,300. It's decent. It's not the greatest. I would, if, if it's going to be a hybrid, at least give me more Haragumo styles, uh, like a little bit higher, maybe in the 26,000 range, a little higher than that. I mean, Haragumo can get up to the 28,000 if you build for survivability expert. And um, really, that that's pretty much uh, the, the, the ship in a nutshell. Like I said, reading, um, you know, I'll just read while we're sailing here. What Wargaming thinks this ship really is, is uh, it's a... It's similar to Shimikaze. It uh, departs from a distant co cousin in several ways. Notable that the Hayate has different main guns that fire same shells but faster reload, better gun handling. Combination of reload time, HE Alpha ability to both track and hit targets even at closer range give H I mean, Hayate a pot potent tool against destroyers. So you can see right here we're going to go uh, kind of test it against the Shima. Like basically going one-on-one. -on -one. So obviously Shima and me, same kind of caliber guns. Uh, just a little bit faster reload. So now he smokes up. I know where he's at. We both can launch torpedoes at each other. So I'm anticipating torpedoes right here. I'm turning away because I know he's probably angling or shooting these things to my left here. So we'll kind of just as I'm running away, I've learned my lesson by running away. Now look, look at the reload guns. I basically outdo him on the reload. And I'm hitting, I'm getting a way more uh, better damage output than he is. He's still worried about his torpedoes. And I pretty much won this battle. And I had a little bit more HP. But again, I mean, they're better, faster reload guns. Boom. Splash through right there, taking out the Shima. And as you see, that's a, a, a good example of the destroyed gameplay against kind of like like targets right but if i was going up against say a druid or maybe even a vampire that would have been a different story right there so again hayate yeah it's not haraguma levels of gunpowder but it's better than ashima uh reading more about it 
Uh, let's see here. High Ode service detections is good, if not outstanding for Tier 10. That's what they say. But it's only spec to conceal to 6.1. Worse than a, a Gross of Hiroshima, but not by much. Uh, makes it good at destroyer hunting, uh, but it's still dangerous because High Ode can be outspotted. Uh, maneuverability is average with rather low speed, rudder shift, and turning circle. And you can see right here more destroyer action. Again, another Shima player. I was trying to find another uh, kind of uh, destroyer that had more gun power on me, but uh, unfortunately, they're just all Shima players at this point right here. And you can see RPF plays a great role knowing where, uh, generally, where this direction of the enemy player is at. Um, against aircraft, Hayate is better than Shimakaze, but not my much. Tr you know, tier 10 planes, come on. AA is trash, so I wouldn't rely on that. Hyatt, according to do uh, wargaming, is a high is a jack of all trades. She can be built for torpedoes or guns, and as for positioning, she should be played close to the objective, battling other destroyers and capturing objectives. So, pretty much like kind of like a Shima player, but just with a little comfort of having a little bit more guns and one less torpedo rack. Reload booster does give a little bit better uh, feel for it right there. But as you can see, look, the guns are fairly decent, and they are pretty accurate. Good reload rate. I mean, I'm getting uh, reload rates on 2.8 seconds, so kind of like gearing level, so not bad. Pretty good. Splash full right there. So we're doing decent in the Hayate. I think it's uh, decent. So what would I recommend it? Um, yeah, if I was a to choose a Japanese destroyer line, I would pick Hayate over Shima. Uh, that's just my level of gameplay, my thoughts on that. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I know a lot of people are dogging Shima players out there, uh, Shimakaze. I don't really play Shimakaze that much. I think it's kind of honestly boring. Uh, because you're really focused on that torpedo scouting role. I like to take the fight to the enemy and just do a little bit more damage. Hayate does answer that call a little bit, but again, would I choose a Harugumo uh, over Hayate? Absolutely. Harugumo is my bread and butter. I like the gunboat DD action. That's kind of on my uh, main kind of uh, play style. And you get a little bit more HP. Torpedoes are still there. And, of course, you get the smoke and gun power like you always normally do, but just a fast reload on the Harugumo. So, again... Hayate, not a bad ship. I would, like I said, I would choose this over Shima, but then if I had uh, push come to shove, I would definitely choose the uh, the Harugumo over the uh, the Hayate. And I'm just trying out the long range gun build. Like look, I'm shooting out to about 13.9 because that's what recommended. They wanted the uh, Wargaming says, hey, recommend put a you know the long range uh, commander build on this thing and see how far you can reach out and do something with it. And it's okay. It's not the greatest. It, it only pens about 21. At least Haraguma guns pen at least 30 millimeters right off base uh, reload. So, man, battleships love shooting at me for some reason. Out of all the players on the map, they love to shoot at just me. Uh, I mean, this guy, rather, with his last final blow, the Missouri likes to shoot at me rather than the other five players out there. Oh, whatever. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of the Hyde. you think it's a, va uh, a valid ship in this uh, meta of today? You can still start fires, you can see right there. Or do you still prefer other destroyers over Hayate? But hope you guys enjoy the video. Winner right there, chicken dinner. And uh, hope you guys stay safe. Let me know uh, in the comments below what you think. And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, button below at 4,000 subs. We're going to double our current subscribers to 4,000. We're going to do another free premium D uh, giveaway. Not just DDs, but uh, free premium. And we'll look forward to that drawing coming up when we hit 4,000. So hope you guys are doing safe. Make sure you say hi out there. Salute, as always, to you guys. Thanks for making the channel and this, uh, the uh, community a better place. And as always, take care. Cheers.